a quick tutorial about uh, writing laser materials uh, for MadMapper using the new uh, feature MadAI. So let's start. Uh, go here and look for the laser materials. So laser materials are generative uh, animations. Uh, that run in, in real time and where all parameters can be modified with uh, with uh, sliders and other widgets. Uh, if I want to create a new one, I create the plus button and create new laser material. Ah, I must save my project, so let's save it. So I create the plus button. I press the plus button, create a new laser, laser material. I'd call it uh, like beams uh, explosion. And I will write down here in the request uh, prompt uh, place, uh, make a, uh, an animation, a laser beam animation, where beams come from the center. Um, and explode randomly and come back to center in a loop. Okay, I can choose higher quality or fast uh, and madness, madness will uh, make it more creative or more precise respecting the request and doing more technical job. Let's make it creative. Actually, when you make a request to MadAI, it is actually writing the code. So actually, oops, let's apply the new visual created. Okay, so that's what actually the AI has created. So the code is visible here. So the parameters are declared here. You can change the number of beams. You can change the scaling. And you can change the animation. Okay, thanks for doing it for me. Uh, it wrote a bunch of code. Um, now it's always doing the same. I, w I, I would like that on each explosion, the points take a new uh, position. Uh, on, so I, I can, so I have the history here. I will write down a new prompt and it will modify what it has already done. It's good to make the request in a few, uh, not do, giving all instructions at the first time, but adding uh, more uh, requirements later. On each explosion, uh, choose a new uh, randomized positions. Oops. Let's see what's happened. It's happening. Okay, so actually on each explosion, it chooses a new uh, position. No, I would like it because I, I don't like the way it is actually. It's too static. I would like the beams to move while the explosion is ongoing. Uh, add a position animation during the explosion with a separate speed. Call it uh, uh, animation noise speed. Okay. Let's make the laser beam preview. So from the project settings, I can choose the source position of my laser beam preview. Okay, so I, I can see better what's happening. Okay. So noise speed, so I have the animation speed, which is the explosion speed, and I have another speed, which is the noise speed. 
I will ask him to add a noise uh, level. Uh, move the noise speed in the noise parameter group and add noise level. And then what I would ask maybe is to have more coloring um, parameters and maybe Okay, so now I have noise parameter group with speed and level. Okay, that starts to be more interesting. I would like the the explosion to, to be more smooth. Actually, it looks like it's... Uh, okay. Uh, let me choose the, the, the animation curve from a linear to a sinusoid uh, uh, yes so how is it done actually let's remove the zoom and look at it it doesn't look like a sinusoidal uh, thing it looks like it's linear let me Choose base animation uh, shape. We now sinusoidal or susa sim. Let's see what's what it will do. Okay. I could ask also to have a rotation animation. Okay. It's linear, thin, okay, and smooth. I don't know what smooth is actually. What's the difference between smooth and thin? Okay. Um, I uh, rotate parameter group with uh, speed speed parameter rotates the speed parameter and I don't need the level it will rotate indefinitely okay let's go um so here you have this tree. The code is being updated each time uh, by the AI, mad AI. So actually, when the request will finish, I'll be able to see what happened here. Okay, rotate, speed. Okay. That's not bad. It looks good. Add more color. Um, uh, add add uh, a second color and a randomized color of each beam uh, by mixing both colors. Okay. I think it's, it seems to become cool. Okay. Not bad. Okay, interesting. So now let's see what's happening if I have two lasers, laser projectors, and I take this quad and move it here. Maybe I will set it back to the center. And just choose the positioning here of my quads to see how like this. Like this. Okay, so if I have two lasers, 
could look like this, which is not bad. And now I still have the parameters here. Scale. Rotate speed. Ah, it's forward and backward. Yeah, very good. The only problem with the forward and backward thing is that sometimes it's hard to get to zero with the mouse. So I could ask him to make a speed like positive and add a reverse button, maybe. Maybe I like the the. Um, so if I want to change the default parameters of Zexus, because here if I reset to default value, uh, the there is no rotation. I might want to have a rotation, so I could ask him to set the default value of rotation speed to something, or I can go here and see rotate slash speed. Default value is zero and one, and I want like to have uh, zero dot five, so I can write it manually. Rotate speed. Default zero dot five. And now uh, I have a manual edition entry in the history, and I I can still browse the history and see previous versions of the of the resource. You can also, if you are not happy with what it did with a with one of your prompts, you can copy the prompt and uh, change some parameters like madness and mode, and and rewrite. Um, the prompt to start again with uh, different settings. So, well, it does quite cool stuff. It's quite interesting. Some of the resources here in these materials have been uh, uh, published recently, like this one. This one is this one I, I made with uh, Madei 2. So, if we go to the parameters here. We also have beam count animation. Uh, this one, ups, ups. Okay, it's a bit same ID, but here you can choose to have the beams in a cycle, to have the beams random, to have the beams uh, in lines, or auto, which will change automatically on each uh, explosion, the uh, hyperspace, hyperspace one, uh, and this one, if you look uh, in the code, because you can still open in editor a resource that was installed from the library, you can see the history. So if you want to see how, how we, we, we did that, how we generated those animations, you can, you can look at the history. Okay, I hope uh, you will enjoy my day. Thanks for watching.